Check one, two, DJ Divine Justice. I just wanted to add a couple of things um, about using machine um, for uh, for deck control in Tractor Pro as well as using sample decks. Um, so right now I'm in my sample decks template. Um, so if I have a track loading, I'm sorry, if I have a track looping, Then I have all three of these, which is load, mute, load, play, and mute. And um, I'm in this bottom one, which is my um, E, sample decks, C and D, play, mute, load, and re-trigger. So from this page, I can press this button, and it's going to load right there. And you can see when it loads, it loads it, plays it, then mutes it. So right now you're just hearing the track deck. So if I stop the track deck, and if I unmute, and you can hear that the sample deck is playing. So I can mute the sample deck, go out and go to play, play stop, Play start and also re trigger. Um, then, one cool thing I figured out is like I was using this as um, a, a start and stop record for the um, loop recorder. So, like, say if I put on an effect. Start the loop recorder. Stop the sample deck. Then you're just hearing the loop recorder playing. So I made um, record be load from the loop recorder. So if I hit record and go over to another deck, now that's muted. Now this is play start for the sample deck, for the loop recorder. So I'll stop that and you can see this is still playing in the background. So I can go to mute, unmute that sample deck. Now you can see it says loop recorder. So I basically, still got some delay on it so I can take the delay off and play just the sample deck with a little bit of delay. So that was basically taking from this loop down to this first sample deck, then putting an effect on it, sending it up to the loop recorder, recording it and sending it back down to one of the sample decks and it sounds like this. So that's just a good way to have a bunch of control. Also, what I didn't show before was my different um, pages. So you can see on page um, page one, I have effects. So I can do the dry wet uh, parameters one, two, and three. I can also kill the dry wet all the way because sometimes you'll have the dry wet up up, and instead of wanting to turn the knob all the way over, um, you can just press this button and it kills the dry wet. Then you got regular controls for parameters one, two, and three, and you can turn them on and off normally. Same thing with the other side. Then on page two, page two is um, EQ for A and B. It's kind of self-explanatory. You have low, mids, and highs. Got your low, mids, and highs working. And then also kills, as you see those lights coming up for low, mids, and highs. And then the last one is um, volume. Um, for A and B, and then the same thing on the next um, page over, EQ for C and D. Then I have um, on knob page four, then I've got dedicated track volumes for one, two, three, and four. You can't see three and four, and dedicated filters for one, two, three, and four, as well as um, filter kills. Because uh, what I find annoying is, is trying to get back to zero. But if you get the filter up, 
you can just press this button and it kills it. And then just go back down to zero. See now it's soft. Engage the filter, take it all the way up, and then bring it back down. Um, the next page over um, is for record functions. So over here I have for the loop dry wet, um, so that you can get the right levels when you're making a loop recorder. Um, this is the record volume. So if you're actually going to do recordings in the, um, you know, you want to record your mix, then um, I have. Uh, knob for that and also record up here starts and stops the recording. Um, this is monitor mix so you can either mix just what's in the monitors or a, a mix of them and also have the volume over here. Um, right now I'm in sample decks but when I'm over in track decks um, these buttons work as Um, focus so I can focus on A, focus on B and then also um, underneath A, B, C and D are my monitors so I can monitor what's coming through on those decks so you can see these two are lit up these two are lit up and so that's when I'm monitoring stuff um, go back over to sample decks on knob page 6 I have one and two filters. So that means when I'm having a sample deck playing, I can filter it. And these top ones are one and two. So 